What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning back into the Hook 937 YouTube channel. Finally back in Utah from Colorado. As you know, I was out there for a few weeks. I was able to record that uh, street outlaw. Got all my motorcycles behind me. Dodger's been letting me keep them here at the shop. But we got this little CRX on the dyno today. We're gonna baseline it. Guy wants it cleaned up a little bit. And uh, I think a Haltech ECM to go on it. Also, in the meantime, I've been working on my garage. I'll drop a couple clips of the garage in here. It's actually turning out really well. We got the Mustang up on the lift, getting it chopped up. It's got a, it's got a nice little 2J stroker motor going in it there. Another bike. Then we got the uh, Jerry Bickle, got done with the chassis on this one. I'll let y'all figure out what motor that is. We'll talk about it more later. But Dodger's working on this one tonight, and I'm just gonna get this one spinning on the rollers so we can give it a baseline hit. All right, we got the dyno calibrated. We're gonna run it in third gear because it's a little, uh, some stuff's kind of wobbly here. Running up to about 2,500, hit a lick. I'm gonna wash the AFRs. If it goes lean, I'm gonna back out of it, but if not, probably run her out to about six grand if it'll hold here. I'm gonna run it out again. I'm not worried about the. Yeah, I'm not worried about the dyno number. I was watching. It's got one in here. It's got one in here. It wasn't making any I was watching the AFRs, but I'm gonna give it a little. It was like 12 and a half, if I remember right. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whack it again. See if it makes any boost this time. We're just gonna watch and see if it makes any boost. There's no way that's working. The vacuum side. Oh, it's working. negative, huh? That's yeah. Why. Nope. No boost. Zero boost. So first things first, we gotta hunt down that problem and it's got an exhaust leak, but I don't think it's bad enough to cause no boost like that no boost. so well as you've seen whopping zero boost uh might dig into that but that's the baseline number you know and that's kind of why it's at the shop make that number go up um with i think it's a haltech ecm he's asking for and fix whatever boost leak it's got but i'll show you under the hood here because it's kind of cool he's got his intercooler piping going through the factory air box and that's actually intercooler piping under there it's cut open on the bottom so it looks it looks factory but there's a little turbo down there although it's not making any power right now and there's so it's pretty cool uh but it definitely needs some work so i don't know how much we're gonna dig into this one tonight but all right guys, so we'll be doing more in-depth stuff on this uh, build later, this one I'm about to show you. But if you wanna check out more of it, check out 187 Unlimited Racing on YouTube. He does the IGTV stuff and he's been, he's got more on this build than I do. But this is a Jerry Bickle chassis pro mod. It will be a Ford McCurr, right? Um, it's small wheelbase pro mod. We're weighing it right now. Baselines 1330, uh, 60-40 front to rear. We're gonna he's gonna move the turbo back here. I'm gonna help him as much as I can, but the turbo's gonna get moved back into there. Fuel cell, all that's gonna be in the rear wheelie bars, parachute. So we'll be able to get this closer to a drag weight ratio uh over time. As you can see, the seats are set real far to the rear. He got in the car a minute ago 
and it actually helped correct some of the bias already. We just got a piece of wood jammed in there for now, but this is Mark Williams, nine and a half inch, or is it nine and three quarter? Nine and a half inch rear end, weld wheels, big tire car, been working on the suspension. Some more stuff will come in for that later. Finally got it to where it's almost rolling. The rest of the rear suspension will come in soon and put a steering column in it. But this is gonna be, this is gonna be a force to be reckoned with. And as I'm sure you've seen, some of you may already know, that is a Ford 4 liter straight six from the land of the Oz. It's gonna be getting, it's gonna be getting a big single and uh that's not the motor that's going to stay in it so you'll have to stay tuned for the goodies that are coming it will be the same motor just built by a uh built by a well-known shop uh like i said you stick around you'll see that so there it is 1330 without the body and i think the goal is 2600 pounds so you can class put it in the unlimited glass all that stuff so cool all right guys before i end this video off i know this is a short video but it's been a while since i got to you it's been a while since i've been able to get in the shop but we're also working on this new edge mustang uh a lot of racecraft parts on this and make some good stuff for these for this body uh weld wheels again strange brakes strange nine inch out back this is getting a stroker 2jz um we're thinking this should make 15, 1600 horse on kill. Going to try to get this car going as quick as we can get it. The Mustang's a cool little body. Never seen a whole lot of 2Js doing a lot of fast stuff in one. So four nine inch, like we said. And uh, this will be a cool car, cool car too. Of course, gut it, cage it, race it. Uh, that's the motto around here. So there's another one. I know you guys... Uh, I think some of you guys like that straight six stuff. The 2J's on the channel. Of course, we got the 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 Forerunner 2J. This would be 2J. That's a straight the straight six Barra Pro Mod RB26 in that. And uh, that's kind of Dodger's thing. And like I said, you want to see more of his stuff? Check out his Instagram. It's 187 Unlimited Racing. He does the IGTV, the Instagram TV, so you'll get more updates from him because he's here more. Cause I got that full-time job and hopefully in the next video, I'll bring you guys an update on the GTO. I know it's been gone for a while, but we're going to, we're going to get that thing rolling again, get it back out, do some updates on it. Version two. And, uh, yeah. One last shot of the pro mod read case TH 400 pro mod trans. And, uh, yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Business. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know you think of these two new builds coming. Like I said, the GTO will be coming back out. I'll have a full video on that. I'll do some series on this. I'll do some series on the Mustang. That's going IFO soon. Until then, we'll catch you guys next time.